none of us have ever been interviewed by the person <laughs> that cheated on us <laughs> on television. He did something different. Netflix was like, bruh, we are doing this live and we are not recording. And if we see your stuff out there, uh, we're coming for you, bruh. And that's what they doing right now. You can't find this video anywhere. But my wife and I, we watched it and I have some things to say about it. Yes, I do. And I might hurt some daggone feelings. Everybody call that man a Charlemagne called him a bitch. The Breakfast Club called him a bitch. And the View and the Talk and every rapper and, and the Drink Champs called him a fucking bitch. Everybody called him a bitch. Chris Rock went off. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Officer Tatum hype. <laughs> Officer Tatum hype. Chris Rock went ham. Now don't worry about the little stuff messed up because the screen and the light. The light. I gotta pray for that light right there. I gotta pray for that light. I was about to say something, but I listen. I know. I know what the deal is, brother. But anyway, Chris Rock went. Ham. And, and and I think the whole world was waiting to see this video. So I ain't going to talk too much. Watch the video. Her son's friend, okay? Let me put this in context. It was It's a Netflix special. Now, we can't show it on here because I don't know how we even got this, but we got the audio. But it was a Netflix special, so you can go watch it on Netflix. And, 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 and this the whole special is off the chain. This is just a short clip of it. So you can listen to what he said about uh, your boy Will Smith, and it is out of control. And just so y'all know, too, even this was just the last 10 minutes of his hour-long stand-up routine. Um, it was, I believe it was a little more than an hour. It was probably like an hour and a half. But he did about an hour, 15 minutes without um, going into the Will Smith thing. But... Whenever he uh, made mention of another rapper and he fired shots at him, like if he fired a shot at Jay-Z, he fired a shot at, um, it was another two um, rappers that he said something about. And he kept on saying, um, but, you know, I don't want any problems because I don't want any issues with another um, another angry rapper. So he would say that and leading up to it because people would laugh because they knew they knew in this in this hour and a half routine you're about to do, we already know you about to address this whole Will Smith thing. You have not been public in a while. You have not, you haven't been hiding out, but you have not been public and you did not put your face in the sand and start acting like a victim and crying and all that other stuff. You didn't do that, but we know that tonight we're gonna hear something about it. And he just kept on building up to it, building up to it, building up to it, building up to it. Got to the last 10 to 15 minutes of this bad boy and he went ham just in case y'all don't know what ham is it's an acronym for hard as a mf or that's what it means now i normally would not talk about this shit, but for some reason these put that on the internet i have no idea why two talented people would do something that low down what the we all been cheated on. Everybody in here have been cheated on. None of us have ever been interviewed by the person <laughs> that cheated on us on television. None of us. It's like, hey, I was sucking somebody else's dick. How did that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> the most emasculating crap you can ever go through ever go through here i am being interviewed by my wife saying i cheated on you and i cheated on you real good in my house with a younger guy who is our who is our son's friend how does that make you feel baby <laughs> he just gotta stay there and answer the daggone questions <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> She hurt him way more than he hurt me, okay? Okay? And by the way, he does that. Everybody in the 
world called him a I tried to call him a give him my condolences. He didn't pick up for me. He didn't say he tried to call him a B. He said he tried to call him, you know, he said he didn't pick up for him. Everybody called that man a He was trying to show him support because he was real good friends with him. He said he absolutely loved him and he was a huge fan of Will Smith. Charlemagne called him a B. The Breakfast Club called him a B. And the View and the Talk and every rapper and, and fucking the Drink Champs called him a <laughs> Everybody called him a bitch. They called his wife a predator. Everybody called him a bitch. <laughs> Everybody. Now, what he's doing, he keep on saying everybody called him a B because he's letting them know, bruh, you was taking it, you was taking your anger out on the wrong person because you were embarrassed by the BS going on in your home that you all made public, and now everybody is criticizing you for being a bitch. And I am the only person calling to make sure you're good. Okay. Everybody. And who's he hit? Me. <laughs> a nigga know he could be. That is some. Yeah, y'all hear that? Hold on, quick break into action. Now, he said, who does he hit? He hit the one that he know he can beat. Who is that? Me. That's the one he decides to swing on because he don't know how to dag on place his dag on anger. Like, for real, it's, it's crazy. So, hold on, let me see if uh, my man coming back to this because he just said, break into action, and then he just... You can see the rest of it, but I, I thought it was hilarious. I don't like all the cussing, man. I, I I really don't. I wish it was clean, but that's just his comedy. All I can do is blur it out. But I thought it was incredible that he just called out Will Smith, you know, because I, I hate to say it, but like the whole dynamic between Will Smith and Jada is just so toxic. It's crazy to me. And for those of you who didn't understand his joke, uh, Jada, her son had a friend, a young dude. And she was sleeping with this guy. She was literally having relations multiple times with her son's friend while she's married to Will Smith. And, 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 and just the toxic relationship of, of her just literally strangling out his manhood. Hold on, I got to touch on that just a little bit more. Not only was she having sex with her son's friend, she was doing it in the house. She was also mentoring him and this and her son's friend just so happened to be a well-known R&B artist named August Alsina. August Alsina was always in the house, coming through the house, coming to the house. And Will Smith knew that he was coming there. He was a, pretty much a part of the family at this point. So she started having these relationships with him and... Then she finally decided to let Will know. And then they had something called a something talk, a red table talk discussion about it, trying to be the biggest adults in the world to discuss their situation online. They didn't take it um, the way that um, Will and Jada wanted them to take it. They thought that this, this way we were doing things will be so accepted because we're the biggest adults in the room. Nobody will ever do anything like this. So let's discuss our indiscretions in front of the world. And they just clowned the hell out of Will Smith. So Chris Rock just went on, and I'm not going to talk too much about this. Chris Rock, he just went on to just say, yo, the entire world was clowning you, but I was your friend. I looked up to you ever since you've been doing your thing, rapping, acting, all that other stuff. He said, but, but when you were going through this, I was one of the only people who reached out to you trying to see how you're doing, trying to see if you wanted to talk, trying to make sure you were good because you were really going through something. But then because Jada Pinkett didn't like the fact that I didn't, um, I didn't announce, I didn't give you freaking, um, and you didn't get an Oscar the last time I was hosting the Oscars for your movie Concussion. I think that's the name of it. His movie called Concussion. He ended up giving Chris Rock a concussion for, for something that he didn't even do. So it was misplaced anger that he belonged to everybody else but Chris Rock. It belonged to everyone but Chris Rock. 
And he's like, come on, man. So now he said that he w- he watches the movie Emancipation now, Will Smith's new movie Emancipation, just because he liked to see the, um, the slave master <laughs> beat Will Smith because Will Smith played a slave in the movie Emancipation. And he'd be like, man, whoop his ass, master. Whoop his ass. I didn't mind that it was so much cuss words. I, I didn't. I'm I'm a cussing Christian myself, and I know I I know I I'm trying to change. I'm actually getting better. I'm actually getting better. I know it's, it's kind of feel like I can give a dag on about the word. Nah, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm a cussing Christian. Um, you know what I mean. And I like good comedy, and I don't care too much about censoring anybody, whether they're cursing, whether they're not cursing. I'm not gonna be like, oh, my ears hurt. You're not speaking the Lord's language. Oh. Not saying that that's what Andrew Tatum is. I mean, um, um, Officer Tatum is doing. But I'm just saying other people out there can be like that. I'm not like that at all. But I really enjoyed this and the way that he hit back. He hit uh, Will Smith hard in this one right here. Was he said to him? He said that people were saying, "Why didn't you hit him back? Why didn't you hit him back?" And he said, because I was raised right. Simple and plain. I was raised correctly. And my parents always told me never to fight in front of white people. <laughs> then he dropped the mic and walked off. <laughs> so it was actually pretty good, man. Um, I don't know if Officer Tatum was going to tell y'all all that, but that's what I'm going to tell you. And I don't need to sit by while he's telling y'all the story. It's just like we're in the building. He was telling the story, but I wanted to tell y'all another side of it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you didn't, that's cool too. Love y'all, man. Make sure y'all hit the like button and share this if you will. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one.